Hello, my beloved parish. Uh, we had some technical difficulties live streaming the service this morning, so it was asked if I would just send out the sermon. So this is it. It's called Rest in Him, is what I've titled it, and it is the sermon for today, July 18th, 2021. Whew! I was tired. We had been on the road and that's tiring. Traveling from village to village, teaching and healing. Not everybody was happy to see us, that's for sure. Some people were downright rude. There were many days when we went without food and we slept under the stars. That's okay, but the rainy nights are not so nice. Everything got soaked. We didn't have spare clothes, so they had to dry out in the sun. If there was any sun, the nights got cold, especially if you're wet. When Jesus told us to go out two by two and teach and heal, it was, I was kind of afraid. It was wonderful news we were sharing, but it was so radical. It's not the same old stuff I'd learned in synagogue. I knew the rabbis wouldn't like it. They liked to hold all the power. This new way was freeing. We weren't expected to keep all of the rules that the rabbis were enforcing. Everyone was welcome. So I was expecting trouble and we got it. But when Jesus told us that we were not allowed to take spare clothes or any food, at first that seemed a bit too much. I mean, really? That would make us totally dependent on the kindness of strangers. I mean, totally. He ordered us to take nothing for the journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in our belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. Can you imagine going away on a journey and only taking the clothes on your back? <laughs> Usually when I go away, I have to take many bags to carry all of the things I need or might need or could need. And here we were heading out with nothing. It was scary. And like I said, at first I thought Jesus was overdoing it a bit. But then as we traveled, I began to understand why he did it. If we came to a village and the people opened their home to us and gave us food and shelter, they were the ones who, who were open to God's love. They understood what it meant to love your neighbor as yourself. We met some wonderful people who taught us as much as we taught them. They knew that God wants us to be kind and loving to each other. And when we were able to heal them and drive away evil spirits, they were drawn even closer to God. They knew who had truly healed them. It was a wonder to behold. But when we came to a place and the people did not offer food or drink or a place to stay, we could tell that they really didn't get God's true message. They may have said they believed. They may have gone to worship regularly. They may have been experts about following Jewish laws, but they missed the main point. There was no point us staying because they were not open to God's message. We moved on. By the time we came back from our travels, we were full of great stories and wanted to share them with Jesus. But being the compassionate man Jesus truly is, he saw how tired and hungry we were. I mean, he knew without us even saying anything. Oh, he's awesome. So Jesus invited us to go away from the crowds that always gathered around him to a secluded place where we could eat, rest, and talk about our awesome adventures. We got in a boat and sailed to the other side of the sea, hoping to find a nice quiet spot. Most of us were fishermen, so it was relaxing just getting into the boat. Good thing too, because no sooner had we stepped onto shore than people began gathering around Jesus again. I tell you, that man is truly special. People are so drawn to him. They come from far and wide. I wanted to shoo them away so we could rest. But that Jesus, he just started teaching again and healing and doing all his usual stuff. 
made me kind of feel guilty for being so set on looking after myself. But once we got started, I actually felt invigorated. It's a beautiful thing seeing people get healed. I saw people who had to beg because they couldn't work. It was so hard on them. They wanted to work, but they had an illness or deformity that didn't allow them to do anything. Then Jesus touched them and their whole life changed. Not only were they healed physically, but they were also healed spiritually. They had a new and exciting perspective on who God truly is and how much God truly cares for them. Jesus taught us all that God cares for each and every one of us, even the prostitutes and tax collectors. God doesn't care who you were. God just cares who you are now. We saw people who were the lowest of the low. I mean, they stole and cheated. They lied and didn't care about anyone but themselves. But then they met Jesus and their lives turned upside down. They began to live good lives and help those in need. They looked after each other and shared whatever they had. It truly was inspiring to watch Jesus work. And even though we didn't get the rest and refreshment right away that we thought we would, we did some time later because Jesus knew that it's so important to take care of ourselves. How can we look after others if we don't look after ourselves? There was always more that we could do. There were more people who needed healing. There was more teaching to do. It never ended. We had to make time to rest. I didn't know at the time how short our time with Jesus would be, but he used it well and made sure we learned not only to care for others, but also to care for ourselves before he left. And of course, he died, but he didn't leave us alone. He came back, yeah, from the dead. He came back and taught us even more. Then his time was truly up and he went back to heaven. But he sent us a wonderful gift after he left he sent the Holy Spirit, who would always be with us. The Holy Spirit kept us on track and gave us not only strength, but power. We found we received gifts from God, from God that we didn't even know existed. Some of us became teachers, some apostles, some healers, some of us spoke in tongues, and some saw the future. There are so many gifts, it's hard to name them all. But the best thing is that the gifts are not just for us. They're for everyone who comes to know and love Jesus. He shares these awesome gifts and has more than enough to go around. So my message to you today is get to know this awesome Jesus. Rest in him, for he is awesome.